Hey guys, I was on YouTube earlier and I came across some videos about buying a Jeep Cherokee from a private party and red flags to look for and then reasons to move away from that vehicle and onto a, a different one. And the concerns that it illustrated were, were valid. Um, all the common problems, all the common leaks, etc. They, they were all there. Um, what it suggested though is that if you just keep passing up these deals because it has a leak here and a leak there or whatever that eventually you'll you'll happen upon your dream Cherokee with 60,000 miles on it for 2500 bucks without a problem and you know if you're an extremely fortunate person great you know you got a good deal but realistically I don't think that's going to happen I'm making this video oriented more towards the first time Jeep buyer. Do your research beforehand. Know and understand the common problems that you're likely going to encounter. And read some, some write-ups, watch some YouTube videos, learn how to fix some of those common problems. And think about if that's something you're willing to take on or not. Because my thinking is, even if you find a vehicle, a Jeep Cherokee, that doesn't have any problems at all, if you're going to purchase it and drive it on a daily basis, it's going to develop all the same problems that you're trying to avoid. So I don't see any, any reason in hiding from them in the first place, but rather use them to your bargaining advantage. One of the first things I look for when I go with somebody to look at a Jeep or if I'm looking at one for myself is a leaking rear main seal. Nine times out of ten if it has 80,000 miles on that four liter engine or more the entire oil pan gasket and the rear main seal is going to be leaking and that can be really bad if they won't come down in price, the seller that is, or it could be really good for you. The parts are inexpensive but it is a crap job. Another common problem is leaking wheel cylinders on the back drum brakes. You can look at them and generally just see in the dust, on the dust cover, a residual leak from the, uh, the brake fluid. That's one of my least favorite jobs, is dealing with drum brakes. It's not that complex, it's just tedious and pain in the rear. But you can use little things like that to your bargaining advantage. Try to talk the seller down, point them out to him, ask him if he was aware. Um, another thing to check is take the radiator cap off. Look at the coolant color. You know, look for any brown flaky looking stuff. It's probably stop leak, ask him about it. You know, look them right in the eye, ask them if they've had any problems. You know, but, but more importantly, don't be afraid. if. The Jeep is clean and you like everything about it, except for it has a few leaks. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay away from it. More importantly than leaks is how it sounds. And I'm talking a 4.0, 4 liter Jeep, nothing else. I don't know that 2.5 stuff. Turn it on, listen to it. Most of them have a little bit of lifter noise. But make sure you don't hear any bearings or squalling or, or anything like that. If it sounds healthy and it test drives good, it's probably okay. Just understand the common problems and understand your own ability and know if you're willing to fix them. When you go to test drive the Jeep that you're looking at, you know, be respectful of the seller's property, but at the same time, drive it like it's yours. It's your money. You know, be be reasonable with it. You don't need to be doing brake stands and donuts, but drive it a little harder than you typically would. And if it's an automatic, I like to I like to cruise at about 35, 30 miles per hour, stop accelerating, and then floor it. Make sure that transmission downshifts the first gear and should hit it hard and take off. And you don't need to stay on it up to freeway speed, but just make sure it downshifts. Make sure it doesn't slip. You know, if it's a manual, get it going 25, 30 miles an hour right in second go. It should have a lot of pickup, there shouldn't be any hesitation. And when you get up to highway speed, pay attention to the steering. I like to actually let go of the wheel a little bit and make sure it tracks okay. 
You know, it, it is a solid axle SUV. It, it's not your mom's Honda. The steering is a little loose, but you shouldn't have to fight to keep it in the lane. If it's a, a 4x4 Jeep, which I sure hope it is, uh, try it on the four wheel drive. You don't need any dirt to try it out. You shouldn't be steering it on pavement in four wheel drive, but you can find a nice straightaway, just a, a residential street, anything. And uh, I try four low first just to get it over with. And remember with your automatics, you need to be at a complete stop in neutral to get it in four low. And with your manuals, you can be at a crawl, but you should just come to a complete stop and put it in four low. And make sure to engage it to make sure there's no grinding, it should go in right away. Um, four highs shift on the fly, you can be going any speed and you should be able to pop it right in, pop it right out. After the Jeep reaches full operating temperature, remember to try the heater. Turn it on full blast, any of the settings. Make sure you don't smell coolant. If the heater is on and the smell of coolant is introduced and or you see fog forming by the defroster or on your side windows, the heater core is probably leaking. In which case, that's a pretty serious repair. Open all the doors. Make sure they function properly. Open the rear hatch, particularly on the 97 to 01, so the latch likes to come disconnected. I can do a video on showing how to repair it. It's an easy fix, but back to the point of this video, use this stuff to your advantage. Little issues, little flaws, you know, look at it from a realistic perspective and try to use it to your advantage rather than just walking away. I hope this video has been of help to anybody. And if you have any questions, anything I can help with, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. On my girlfriend's 98 Jeep, when you press the brake pedal, the brake, the part, it flies.